JK, I'm gonna continue. Uh. I'm just gonna continue from where I left off. Because I really, I just want to continue playing. <laughs> How can this be happening? I stare at a small pouch in my hands. I do not know what hurts more. The fact that I have just been unceremoniously paraded away from my home like I am nothing more than a piece of garbage. Or the fact that my own father does not recognize me. Oh, look at that girl's hideous dress! How difficult it is to be poor! I clutch the pouch closer to my chest as I run to an empty alley. I huddle in a corner, trying to become as small as possible. I squeeze my eyes shut, hoping that when I next open them, everything will be back to normal. Uh, dream? Oh! No matter what happens, you must not leave the palace. Why? The world is cruel. People will only hurt you. But they are always so nice to me. That is because you are the crown princess. They will only ever think of what they can take from you. <sighs> no, hey, mom, why are you gonna be so rude? All I wanna do is take Rod and be his. I'm trying to protect you, my love. That is why you must never leave the palace. Never leave mother while well, you left me, woman. I am the only one who will ever love you so much. Do you understand? I... understand. This is mom's fault! Ah, oh, the first chapter, let's go! <laughs> we're finally, we're finally in the story. When I open my eyes, I'm still on the streets. I must have fallen asleep. But the nightmare continues. I'm cold in my rags. I hold myself with warmth, wheeling some of the cold away, but fail. My feet are numb and in pain, caked in the dirt that I've gathered from walking barefoot to run town. Well, that's a well, there is a frightful sight. Becca probably thought she could try her luck with the nobility that live around there. Ah, uh, just look at how ragged she looks. You two are so here. Oh, what are you looking at? A two women that lack the basic manners of a noble upbringing, sir. Oh, savage! <laughs> Silence, girl! Oh, freak you. Do you know who you're talking to? No, and I do not care. Oh! What nerve! Let's just go. There's no reason to stoop to a commonest level. I will remember you, and once I break this curse, I'll make you regret your words. Ah, oh, let's go, you better, girl! i become acutely aware of the fact that I've not eaten anything for almost a day. I've been sitting here, thinking on a new mess that is my life. But moping around will not break my curse. Crying will not help either. I should find out which first. But how? I have no idea where she is. Delora, I swear I will make you regret doing this to me. When I find you, I... I'll find food first. <laughs> well, I mean, you should have said that sooner, bro. You, you didn't eat for a whole day. Is this all the king thinks I'm with? Leave, girl. A dirty peasant like you has no place in this restaurant. But why? I can pay. Find another place. <sighs> You're scaring away my customers. Am I not a customer? Shoo! There's nothing for you here! He just swatted me- He just swatted me away like a fly! The nerve! Now you're speaking like a normal woman! <laughs> Sensing that this will get me nowhere, I ball my hands into fists and walk away. Man, he should just beat him up, bro. I get the same treatment at the next three restaurants I try. I'm treated as something less than dirt. Like my money has no real value. I'm the crown princess. They have no right to turn me away like this. I have been eating stale bread. Anything to keep my hunger at bay. The bread barely helps. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bakery. There are croissants on display that make my water mouth. Wait, what? Slowly I begin to make my way over there. Ow! My feet ache with every step. They look and feel even worse than before. If 
only I had enough coins for a pair of shoes. The food is more important. If the rags that I am wearing and the pouch of money are all that I have, then I need to prioritize. And I'll die before I beg. Two croissants. You'll need to pay, girl. There are no free handouts here. I take a coin from my pouch and hand it to her. There should be more than enough. The shop owner stares at the coin before reluctantly taking it. Hey, girl! What are you, what are you doing, man? I asked for croissants. I didn't ask you for your opinion. Girl, just take the money. She hands me two croissants in a paper bag. I'll not ask where you got those coins. <laughs> are you implying that I sold them? How else will a beggar like you get that amount of coin? Now be off with you, child. I won't have you scaring any other customers. That's the third time now! Without any word, I turn and start to walk away from the woman. So this is the goodness of the people of NGL. I take a bite out of one of the croissants, cringing a little at the, gri at the dryness. Hey, girl, aren't you the same guy from just now? What now? We saw you at the shop. Wanna share how you got your coins there? Excuse me. Oh, look at her, brushing, uh, brushing us off like she's royalty or something. Oh no! Let me go! You ain't no better than us. Now be a good girl and hand over that pouch. You. The man on my left grabs at, at my pouch and attempts to yank it away from me. I will not let these brutes take anything from me. I elbow the man in the stomach, then aim a kick at the other, th at the man's shin. <laughs> I can't speak. I have an opening. And I take it. What? I pull myself free and begin to run as fast as I can. Hey! Where do I go? I'm not familiar with the streets at all. It's highly likely I'm just going to hit a dead end. Where should I go? Uh, eeny meeny miny mo, catch the spider. Uh, let's go right. Ah! Hey, I recognize that silhouette. Hey, this way. You're no time to talk, princess. How do you know who I am? There's another one. Stop running, you two. Uh, come on! The boy grabs her wrist and pulls me after him. He takes off with a sudden burst of speed, and then I am running even faster than I just was. I'm not entirely convinced following him is a good idea, but at least that boy seems to have a better sense of direction than me. Ah, uh, a running causes rocks in the pathway to to come loose and before I notice them in the path, I step down hard on them. A sharp pain shoots up into my foot and I collapse to the ground. It hurts. Princess! I try to stand but the pain in my feet is unbearable. I fall back down into the dirt with a gasp. I can't. We've got you there! Just hand over your coins and neither of you will get hurt. I won't let you touch her. Ha! Says the little boy. Well, well, well. Oh! <laughs> he grew taller and changed hair color. What is this ghastly sight before me? Two adults threatening a child and a lady. How very ungentlemanly. What are the lies of you even doing around this neighborhood? You asking to get fleeced? Asking? Perhaps I am in the mood for a scuffle. <laughs> the nobleman brandishes his sword, his expression confident, maybe even cocky. Show me what you've got, sirs. And please, don't spoil me. Who are these people? I ain't dealing this- I, I ain't dealing with this for the money, he's got a sword! What? Come back here, you coward! The two of us can take him! I think your friend has the right idea. I'm not the type to show mercy. This is way too much for a little gold. You're late. Sorry, kid. You know how hard it is for me to be invisible around here. Wait, what? Did you just call me? A tea, small one. These two know each other? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I feel ill. I feel excited. <laughs> We're finally getting into the game. Let's go. My head is pounding and my feet feel simultaneously like they are frozen and on fire. My stomach rumbles, the hunger coming back with vengeance. My body feels light. Hey, pr princess! Princess! Calm down, parfait. 
<laughs> Calm down! Poor fate will be able to help her. But for now, we need to move. Before anyone sees us. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. You have made the right choice. The crystal on the upper right corner indicates that you have made the right choice for a particular love interest. Each color corresponds to a certain love interest. They also appear belatedly after you make a choice. So keep your eyes and ears open. Alright, all right. I'm assuming this is for a waltz, I think? Yeah. Wait, what color is rods? <laughs> Don't worry. You're safe now. Every... Thing is fading. Oh! A dream. What is that in your hands, hey hey? I. It was hurt and you let it hurt me when it died. It's all my fault. It is not your fault, my love. It died because it was weak. But. This is a wild hey hey. I forgot. What's the voice again? Only the strong survive. The weak get cast aside to die. You are not weak. You are strong, my crown princess. And you do not cry. The wipe of tears. I don't want to see you cry again. Do you understand? He yes. Now get rid of that thing and wash your hands. Did you not hear me, child? Y yes, mother. Yes. Oh, you could have just cooked that for breakfast. Oh, you're awake! Fiorica? Oh, wait, no, 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 <laughs> never mind. Oh, you're awake! Where, where am I? Oh, well, um, this isn't my room. Oh, my hand flies in my chest, where the little glass slipper hangs from my neck. Oh, still there, still here. Oh, are you okay, miss? Th this girl is... The maid that tore Dolores' dress. The one I fired for her clumsiness. Miss? To think that I will meet her again here, like this. Um. Leave me alone. <laughs> right, of course. Um, here's some saliva I myself I made for you. I read that saliva. I'll help with the pain. Now what? Haven't thought it is all of you, Ice Princess! You woman! Suddenly there she is. Dolores stands before me with a snide smile, looking happy with herself. She is the cause of everything I have been through. All the pain, heartache and hunger. It is her fault. I try to stand, thinking to give the witch a piece of my mind, but as soon as my feet touch the floor, Pain shoots on my legs. I end up falling back to the bed. Ow! You should be more grateful to the girl you just scared away. She's been taking care of you for the past two days. Two days? I've been passed out for two days? I'm suddenly vibrating with anger. Remove the curse. Now. Ha! Do you think you can just command me to remove the curse in your best princess voice? What do you want? Gold? What I want is worth more than all the gold you could summon in NGL, princess. Besides, haven't you read your fairy tales? The caster cannot take a curse back. You need to focus on breaking the curse yourself if you want your life back. Mother burned the books before I could read more than one or two of them. I do not think either involved curses, just genies and trading away your voice for legs. So oh, Ariel. Ah, it's good for you. It's good that you your work, princess. Parfait, should we really be up and about? Don't pause. I'm feeling much better. I'm sorry for the voice. <laughs> Are you a witch as well? Oh no, oh no, my name is Parfait and I'm a fairy! A witch and a fairy? In one room? Being friendly with one another? Impossible! Well, it is now! So thank you guys so much for watching! If you like this video, bash that like box down below and like this video! If you want to see more videos of mine, please subscribe to this channel or continue the description down below and you'll see a playlist of my videos! So thank you guys and I'll see you another day! Matane, God bless! 
I can't. Uh, I'm too short. Oh, what? <laughs>